I'm Larry Aglisano reporting for Aviation Consumer and AvWeb here in Duluth, Minnesota at the Cirrus Aircraft Factory where of course the big news is the new SR-22 G5. Fifth generation SR-22 is more than 200 pounds worth of gross weight increase and five passenger seating. I'm going to fly a new G5 turbo from the factory back to Connecticut, stretch it out, see what it can do. But before I do that, here's Cirrus's Matt Bergwall with more on this aircraft. G5 aircraft is really a compilation of a bunch of features that we've introduced over the years. We have perspective, perspective avionics suite by Garmin. We have certified flight in no nice. We have the continental turbocharged system. We have the 6040 flex seating that now seats up to five. And with the 200 pound gross weight increase, the 2013 Cirrus is our best airplane. When we changed the flaps, it also gave us an opportunity to retest them at a different airspeed. So we went from 119 knots being the 50% flap deployment speed. It is now 150 knots, it's the speed which we can deploy the first notch of flaps. With the certified flight and known ice equipment, the airplane has additional coverage areas on the horizontal and the vertical stabilizer. It also has um, windshield clearing capabilities and has um, some increased monitoring capabilities within the cockpit as well. One of the, th one of the items of the carbon package is the, the composite propeller, which is about 12 pounds lighter than uh, the, our aluminum three-blade propeller, and also has a, a composite or a um, carbon spinner as well. The carbon spinner that saves us about uh, two pounds or so of weight. And this aircraft is equipped with uh, the EVS uh, infrared camera. This is a valuable tool for uh, night flying operations that can keep you out of uh, clouds, whether they're uh, towering cumulus during um, you know, thunderstorm season. With the 6040 flex seating, one of the features is that you can easily fold the seats down and configure the seats as necessary for the, for the mission that you're, that you're currently flying. Um, right now the 60 portion of the seat is folded down and it's real simple to fold back up when needed, just clicks right into place. For generation 5 SR22 can start at $479,000 and a well-equipped SR22T can get you into about the $700,000 range. Our level at flight level 190 took off out of Duluth. We're here with Cirrus's Cliff Allen. Cliff, uh, why don't you tell us what, we, uh, what we're seeing here out of this airplane? Well, we just as uh, what the book told us we would get it at flight level 190, we're about 195 true. We've got a 59 knot tailwind right now, so our gun speed 252 knots. Yeah, if this holds, we're going to be able to fly this trip from Duluth back to Hartford, Connecticut, along the way, about a three and a half hour leg. Now this is a turbocharged airplane, and uh, when, you, when you start to think about turbocharging, you think complexity. Well, when I took off out of Duluth, it was just as easy as flying a uh, normally aspirated model. In some ways, it's a bit easier because all we're going to after we establish our cruise climb, we just need to bring the, the, the power lever back to 30.5 inches, and then we get an indicator on our fuel flow. We just lean to that indicator, and that gives us lean and peak. So we basically flew a lean and peak burning about. 18 gallons an hour in the entire cruise climb right to flight level 100 or so. We've got a 253 knot ground speed, uh, but we do have a tailwind uh, with a, a true airspeed 195 knots. Yeah, but that's right out of the book. We, were, we would expect a 190 or zero that we'd be getting 195 uh, knot uh, true airspeed at the peak. So it's 195 knots burning 17.3 gallons per hour. And then we also have a, some really good fuel planning options available to us too. This is how integrated the airplane is. See this dotted green line? That is a range with one hour of fuel left. The solid green is where we'll be out of fuel. And it's so integrated that if you watch while I move the mixture, you'll see the ring will actually shrink as I reach in the mixture. We start to get in a nut seater that we're gonna we're gonna be low on fuel. So we can continuously monitor our progress here to see that our weather's pretty good, as forecasted. Our performance in terms of our fuel usage is exactly what we planned. If you remember when we left Duluth, Larry, we had talked about being able to do this uh, as a single flight with 20 hours of fuel or 20 gallons of fuel when we landed, which is going to give us slightly over one hour of fuel remaining when we land in Hartford.
You can read more about the SR-22 G5 Turbo in the July 2013 issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. Reporting for Aviation Consumer and Avweb, I'm Larry Anglesano, and thanks for watching.